We are going to look at bicycling issues at Commonwealth Avenue and Charles Gate East in the Back Bay section of Boston, Massachusetts, USA. The city has installed bike lanes at this intersection, on the right side before the intersection and on the left side after it, leading to an underpass. To connect them, the city has installed what is called a bike box. Motorists are supposed to wait behind an advanced stop line, though many do not, and bicyclists are expected to turn sharply left, then right, and wait in front until the traffic signal changes. The Boston Globe newspaper published this posed photograph with a caption indicating that the bike box provides a safe space to wait. Let's see how it works in practice. In an hour of observation at this intersection, I saw many bicyclists pass through, but I didn't see a single one swerve into the bike box. That was often simply impossible because entry was blocked by waiting motor vehicles. Many bicyclists ran the red light, even if they could have gotten into the bike box. Charles Gate East is one way right to left across the bicyclist's line of travel. It is easy to see and yield to cross traffic, and the vehicles waiting next to the bicyclists don't turn right. The red light blocks parallel motor traffic. The bike lane on the left narrows the travel lanes. Shared lane markings improperly instruct bicyclists to ride close to parked cars. Merging becomes a bigger problem when bicyclists cross on the green. Most merge over to the right to avoid the overtaking traffic, but then they confront what I call the desperation arrow. And here it is. This non-standard marking instructs bicyclists to swerve left in the short distance before the first parked car. This young woman moved out on the green light, but then she merged left around an opening car door, and she never once looked back for overtaking traffic. That's scary. You might not notice the bike lane on the other side unless you already know, and you need to know where it goes. It's very unusual, and there are no wayfinding signs. If you do know, and you enter on the green light like this young man, you then have to wait for traffic to clear. You may have a rather long wait. The temptation to run the red light is clear. Running the red saves a lot of time for bicyclists who will be taking the underpass. The man here passes close to the side of a car whose door could open. Then these two do a strange dance across the intersection against the light, as close as anyone came to using the bike box, only they were avoiding it. And then he merged over to the right. This bicyclist turned left across four lanes. Confused and hazardous situations like this one may arise. You deserve a prize if you notice the one person in this clip who obeyed the signal. To get safely through this intersection, you could ride slowly on the sidewalk. There are no right turns at the intersection, but the next block is an obstacle course, and sidewalk riding is illegal everywhere in Boston. Now watch the woman in the pink blouse. She rides safely, legally, and quickly through here by avoiding the bike lane and the door zone. Same with this man. To reach the left side bike lane safely and without a lot of waiting, you have to merge to your lane position before you reach the intersection, like this man. What lessons are there in all this? I can only just begin to cover them here, but I'll be posting on my blog. Please go have a look, and thanks for watching.